Very much. Um, yes, please. This is real quick. Uh, if there's any other student questions before we get to the faculty, you guys have any questions? So now I'll probably ask a question too. Please. Did you want to? Right. Yo, and we'll get to you in a second. We'll do him and then. Uh, in the earlier parts of your book, you discuss how vegetable and fruit wagons would go across the bridge, parts of Brooklyn, and No, to the Bronx, anyway, yeah. And, uh, Where I lived. I'm just curious about what other parts of Manhattan infrastructure you think you could still support to the use of the bridge. What parts of Manhattan infrastructure does the bridge support? I'm not, I'm not sure I, I know what you mean. I mean, you, you, you come off the bridge. Uh, originally, originally, you came off the bridge and you went through a tunnel across Manhattan, and then you could get on the Harlem River Drive. You couldn't get to the Bronx. When they built the lower deck in 62, they also built the Cross Bronx Expressway. And now you could, and mo a great, amount of the traffic that comes across the bridge, goes across the bridge, just continues on uh, to, to the Bronx or continues on to New England. So that's infrastructure, I guess. But the, those two tunnels, by the way, a tunnel uh, taking you off the bridge and a tunnel bringing you to the bridge are still there. And one of the most fun things I had, and I talk about it in the book, was, was uh, uh, they, let me, they, they took me into those tunnels it's like, it's like a lost civilization. You feel like you're in a pharaoh's tomb or something, some place that was closed up, and it's just dust in there, and, and, and the tunnels are there. Uh, so instead of the tunnels, they built the Manhattan Expressway, and then they built the, the apartment towers. And I remember when they first built those apartments, they were considered very fashionable and expensive places to live. Nobody was thinking, you're going to be living over uh, an immense amount of, of fumes are going to be coming up, but now it, it's, uh, it's basically poor people who live in those towers because the, with the environmental movement, uh, 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 the value of living there went way the heck down. There are huge fans. In the un if you're on the Manhattan Expressway and you're going under the towers, there are huge fans up above you which are trying to suck all the fumes out of there and send them elsewhere. But it still seems to me that living in those apartment towers is, is, a, is a very bad idea. So that's some of the, uh, and then they connected obviously to the West Side Highway. Uh, and, and so th that's a lot of Manhattan infrastructure. Does that answer your question? Yes. Great, please. Uh, it, it is basically the same when you're doing a suspension bridge. Um, when Amon finished uh, the GW, the suspended part of it was 3,500 feet. And that's just exactly double the Brooklyn. However, there was a, a bridge called the Ambassador Bridge, uh, which was uh, uh, built uh, and finished just before the Georgia, which is from Detroit over to Canada. And it's, it's a few feet longer than half. So when people say the, the, the Georgia was, exa it was exactly twice as long as the previous suspension bridge, it's not quite true because the ambassador had, is 50 feet more than, uh, than, than, uh, than uh, 1750. Uh, in feet. So you have, uh, but, but we've gotten up to the point now where in Japan they've suspended 10,000 feet. It's the same basic technology, uh, but you, 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 one of the things you have to worry about very much with a suspension bridge is the wind and not what's holding up the bridge, but if you build, if you build the, deck, the deck itself too thin, as happened in the Mackinac Straits, um, there's this wonderful movie of watching a, uh, a bridge, a suspension bridge, collapse. And what made it collapse is the wind hit this, the, 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 what we think of as the bridge, what we ride on, and it started to move, not the way the George does, just a little bit up and down, but started to swing from side to side, and then the entire bridge just simply came apart. A lot of people think, well, the George is probably less safe with the lower deck. It's actually safer with the lower deck. 
because whatever fears Amun had about building a graceful bridge with a thin deck, now you have two decks, and, and the wind doesn't do anything, and, and the lower deck is bolted to the upper deck, and it, wind, shear, anything like that just does not move the bridge side to side. So, uh, but the, basically it's the same technology, yeah. Amun was a genius, he really was. <laughs>